Hey what's up guys it's JK aka Reprisal now and for today's video I just wanted to talk about um, kill streaks for league play. Now this game in particular I don't think is actually a league play game I think it's actually um, it's, I think it's 6v6 Dom um, public match but yeah it is because you can see emblems um, but the thing is I just really want to talk about kill streaks. Now if you're playing mosh pit series you know you can use any kill streak you want but if you're playing, you know, championship series, you can only use um, certain assault streaks um, like Hunter Killer Drone, RCXD, um, and you can't use UAV, Counter UAV, Orbital VSAT, Guardian, um, or anything like that. So if you're doing that, you want to, you know, be careful. You want to choose them properly. Um, but for Mosh Pit, you know, I advise. Well, I advise for any league play really. Um, do not use Guardian. Or sentry gun, you know, unless you're sure the enemy team aren't running EMPs. Now that's because an EMP can just take it down straight away. Same with the AGR, but the AGR kind of sucks anyway. Um, but what it means is, is that really it's a waste of a kill streak if the enemy team is using EMPs, which a lot of people use in league play because they are one of the most powerful um, tactical uh, grenades you can get in the game. Um, it's like a flash, and it's like a obviously an EMP so a counter UAV for a bit um, so you know really you don't want to be using sentry guns or um, guardians I suggest if you're doing mosh pit uh, maybe use a counter UAV an assault kill streak and an orbital VSAT just because an orbital VSAT can change a game in mosh pit uh, kill confirmed you know if you're you know winning uh, it can be really helpful for you to carry on going but if you're losing then an orbital VSAT can just you know change the game a number of times I've been playing when I've been about 10 tags down and if I get an orbital visa or if someone else on my team gets an orbital visa the fact that you could see where they are just makes it a lot more easier um, a lot easier even just to be able to get those kills to get those tags as well as on capture the flag you know if you're running with the flag you know where they're going to be coming you know they're going to come and ambush you uh, where are they going to come and ambush you and you can just kill them straight away so it's pretty useful to get those um, orbital VSATs. Now I normally use UAV, counter UAV and um, orbital VSAT just because it's a bit easier because you get the assist points but I would suggest that if you're playing hard point or you may even in um, capture the flag lightning strikes can be very useful for killing the enemy flag carrier or clearing out a hard point for your team to go and take it. So I would suggest using a assault um, kill streak like a lightning strike or a hellfire missile with orbital visa and counter UAV. Counter UAV is also useful if you know you're using non-silenced weapons which I use a lot because my normal um, setup is quick draw and stock or quick draw grip, quick draw reflex sight you know I'm not using silencers, silencers are pretty pretty poor in this game um, especially in lead play, lead play it's not necessary at all unless you're doing something like search and destroy but even then it's not really that useful good search and destroy rush is pretty pretty effective um, so I would suggest using counter UAV over UAV but that's my personal preference however if you're doing a championship series game I would suggest that you use the lowest assault streaks you can get away with which is Hellfire Missile, Lightning Strike and if you're sure that the enemy team isn't using the um, EMPs that you use a assault, uh, assault a sentry gun. If not I suggest using an escort drone or a, a, a stealth chopper just because they're a lot more effective um, at getting the kills unless they're taken down. Really in championship series I haven't seen many people get the um, oh that's one <laughs> Um, I haven't seen many people use uh, rocket launchers and stingers and stuff like that. They do in Mosbit series quite a bit. If you're using UAVs and counter UAVs, they can get taken down straight away. But really, it's not too much in Championship series, so it really depends what you're on. I know that Optic Nade Shot, he uses, um, I think he uses, is it Lightning? Yeah, Lightning Strike, Attack Dogs, and Swarm. Uh, but that's, that's just his preference. I think in a 4v4 game mode, attack dogs and swarm aren't going to be that useful. Um, I would prefer to use something like the escort drone, for example, and a lightning strike and a hellfire missile so I can clear the objectives 
and I can then you know defend the objectives compared to you know having just a number of kills especially when if it's in a large you know undercover map like Express um, only the attack dogs are going to be useful um, so really that's just my personal preference you could do what you want but these are just suggestions when it comes to classes I will do a class video tomorrow covering my favorites but I'll just tell you what the basics are now you really you want to be using quick draw and dexterity um, as well as toughness those are the main perks you want to be using they're really important they help you win a lot of gunfights and they're just overall you know brilliant perks dexterity um, is basically an extra quick draw and you know toughness if you less flinching is going to help you win those gunfights and really you know lightweight helps you you know get across the maps faster I don't know what happened there his body's just gone everywhere um, but lightweight is a good rushing technique you know with my MSMC class uh, which I use quite a lot for kill confirm capture the flag and search and destroy it is MSMC it's got grip it's got quick draw dexterity lightweight you know it's got extreme conditioning I'll be covering all this tomorrow but it's just really good I can rush and search and destroy it's really effective you know the kill streaks you know you might have to change around because you're not really going to be able to get the orbital VSATs unless you're you know a pretty beast player and you're lucky enough you know not to get taken down but you know you might just want to switch it out for that but really guys it's such a personal preference uh, those are just my main suggestions those are the ones that I find the most effective that help me and my team a lot more and help me get a lot more wins you know it's really if you can get an orbital visa even if your team sucks they can still pick off a couple kills and help you you know get better they might get a, a one to one ratio but it's a lot better than them going 5 to 15 and getting 0 0.3 now quickly about this gameplay this is a double score MTAR nuclear fail um, I'm not I think it's like a 43 to 2 um, you know it was, this is a pretty old gameplay and you know it's pretty good using the MTAR silence and I think it's got grip on it um, use, yeah there's where I die on my um, I think I was in 26 or so which was a bit unlucky you know I shouldn't really gone in the water I don't know why um, it's a pretty bad decision to make. So yeah, using Swarm, Orbital VSAT, UA, uh, UAV, and it's really just to show you how powerful an Orbital VSAT can be. So thanks for watching this guys, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you tomorrow when I go over the Mosh Pit Custom Classes. So thanks guys.